What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Jess Almeida here on YouTube and today we are doing a reaction video. We are reacting to one of my videos from Life as a Sox Fan Season 1. As you guys know, I did Red Sox videos, videos back in the day to experiment how I would be doing in-game vlogging content to what I'm doing right now. I did Life as a Sox Fan Season 1 to see how it would go. Let's just say it was hard to top after that. This was the one and only season I did for the Red Sox, for Life as a Sox fan. Let's just say it went out pretty well. Let's just say it went out pretty well. I learned a lot from recording that season and how I should do my videos. Keeping it raw, keeping it not edited or whatever. And you guys love the videos now. You guys absolutely love the way I do the videos now. So I'm not going to change the way I do them. Seeing that the Red Sox are so bad this season, we're going to go back in time to when the Red Sox were unstoppable and unbeatable. The 2018 season, that's when they had David Price, Mookie Betts, Rick Porcello, Mitchie Two Bags was on the squad. Who else did they have? Steve Pierce getting pierced in the World Series, so on and so forth. They had so many good players on that team. Craig Kimball was on that team as well. I miss that team a lot. I miss the players. Andrew Benintendi was on the team as well. Oh my god, I'm just flashing back to all the memories that I had from that season. I did a total of 42 games, 43 games, including the playoffs and some road games. I was at a lot of games back in the day. I was at a lot of games. So, we're gonna when I do reaction videos to these games here, because th this isn't going to be the only one that I react to, we're going to go game by game. So the next video that I will be reacting to will be this one here. And then these two videos here, I'll be doing those se separately because those were insane videos as well. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed these videos. Subscribe now if you guys are new. You guys know what to do. Go check out my website. Links in the description down below. If you guys want to help donate to go to games, my Venmo account's in the description. Anything else, appreciate all the love and support. And without further ado, let's make this into full screen and let's hop straight into this video. David Price pitched, and I believe Bogarts hit a game-tying double in the ninth inning. With two outs, by the way, and I think two strikes. Absolutely clutch. Ladies and Wait. No, this don't feel right. What is up, you guys? It is Slugging Your Pitch 05 here, and today is opening day at the one Damn, I used to go by Slugging Your Pitch 05, my gamer tag. It is a new season, 2018. Red Sox versus Rays. Uh, David Price is on the mound, hoping for a dub. Let's get this thing going. Can't believe it's starting today. We are elite. There's a little bit of a story time in this video. So, when the time is appropriate, I'll give you, like, the quick scoop of what that story is. And I'm sorry, Mike, but this story is kind of involving Mike in a way. But, uh, we still joke about it from time to time. We can, we now laugh about it, so. We're all good from this. And, um, it's involving me bringing somebody to the game. And there she is right there. Shout out to you, Maddie, if you're watching this video. I'm going to send you the link to this video so you can see this. She is one of my best friends in the entire world. She's humble. She's down to earth. She would do anything for me. She would fly where she li lives right now to Massachusetts if I needed her like that. She would book a flight right now if I called her. Hey, I need you down here to deal with something. She would do it like that. She would fly, down, fly up to Boston immediately for me if I needed her and uh, Maddie I just wanted to say hello by the way and I miss you I can't wait to see you in a cu couple weeks and I miss you I love you like a sister and I hope all is well and uh, let's hop straight back into the video it has to do with her the story time oh yeah speaking of which I am going to be doing either the Patriots or the Bruins game. I'm going to be doing one or the other. Patriots versus Lions or opener versus or the opener for the Boston Bruins. Leave a comment down below which one you'd rather see. I'm only doing one or the other there. 
And then, obviously, the home opener for the Celtics. That's a guaranteed video. So... Sorry, I'm yawning, guys. It's it's late, late at night, and um, I got I had a long night last night, so doing homework and stuff like that. That's why I might be yawning a little bit. The reason why it's silent right now, guys, is because I put in copyrighted music. This was I'm coming home here. And niggas got Bro, when I edited, I tried to mute just the music or whatever, and, okay, okay, YouTube, okay, YouTube, whatever, man, the park looks so different now compared to what it did back in the day. That's absolutely wild. Alright, so uh, no batting practice, unfortunately, for the Rays, but it's still awesome to be back. I mean, look at this. You can see the new Sam Adams deck up there. It used to be the Budweiser deck. It really didn't change much. It just changed the name. And right back around. It's cool to be back. I'm home. Come up these stairs. We're gonna be almost at the new Samuel Adams deck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right here, guys, is where the new Truly Terrace is. Oh my god, this ballpark has changed yeah. over the last five years. Damn. That used to be the best view of the ballpark. Well, that used to be the best view from the ballpark right there. That used to be the best view. I have a new better view that um, I'll tell you guys later on down the road. Or I'll get it in a vlog or whatever. We'll skip the coaches for now. At this time, it was my 11th straight opening day that I attended. My streak broke in 2021. I don't count 2020 because there was no way for anybody to attend games, so I didn't count it as me missing it. The last opening day I went to was 2019. That means I went to 12 straight opening days. That's what that means. 12 straight opening days. And now, let's meet the defending champions of the American League East for the second year in a row. Alright, this is where the coach is coming, I believe. We'll see. I'll go with... Okay. He's a player. I miss Brock Holt for the passion. I miss Brock Holt. Number 15, second base. I go Mitchie too bag. Harambe. Oh God, God, Carson Smith. He used to be good. He was supposed to be good. And Stick 
Stickman. Mr. Stickman. Kimbrel, Dirty Dog. Fight Club Joe Kelly. I miss Joe Kelly on this squad. He was out. He was absolutely nasty. Erod. When Brian Johnson used to suck, I used to call him Blowjob Johnson. I'm so immature, guys. Where's Waldo? <laughs> Where's Waldo? Oh my god. I got a story time about Joe Kelly later on down the road, too. I miss Mookie a lot more, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So here are the order of my favorite Red Sox players of all time. David Ortiz, Xander Bogarts, Manny Ramirez, Shane Victorino. No, I'm gonna give it to Mookie. Mookie number four, Shane Victorino number five. That's my order. That's my order. David Ortiz, Xander Bogarts, Manny Ramirez, Mookie Betts, Shane Victorino. All, my all-time favorite players growing up as a Red Sox fan. So I'm not saying Pedro Martinez because I didn't really get to see Pedro as much. I got to see really one season of Pedro Martinez. <sighs> yeah, I miss, I miss Mookie Betts a lot, man. I absolutely miss him a lot. I've had so many good interactions with him. I got something cool to show you guys right now. I'm gonna leave this in here too. So, the reason why Mookie Betts is one of my favorite players, I guess I'll tell you guys the story right now. There was one game where I went with me, and at the time was a girl that I was talking to, okay? We were going into the stadium, it was Cubs versus Red Sox. And we got in, and we noticed that Mookie Betts was over by the section where we were sitting in. My mom and the girl I was talking to at the time wanted to go to our section down up front to go say what's up to him. And I said to them, no, 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 no. See, see that person he's with right there? That's his mom. That's his dad. That's his girlfriend. And he's with his family right now. Let's not go over there to say what's up to him now. He's gonna have to come past us anyways. Let's go by the dugout. So we did that. And apparently, Mookie Betts saw me hold up the two, let them go down by the dugout, and let him have his time with his family. Apparently he saw that. So when Mookie Betts was done talking to his family, I said to him, hey, what's up, Mook? He goes, don't worry guys, I got you after I hit. I go, all right, cool. He hits, however, he walks down to the tunnel. My mom goes, he's not coming back. Let's go. As we're leaving that section, I hear clicking, right? Like clicking of cleats. It was Mookie Betts coming back up to come say what's up and to hang out. I go to my mom. Mom, he's back. He goes, what's up, dude? I go, what's up, Mook? I give him a ball to sign. I go, thanks, Mook. Thank you very much. And my mom goes, Mookie, I'm not going to lie. I thought you weren't coming back. And Mookie goes... Well, I noticed that, what's your name? And I go, Jesse. He goes, Jesse, I noticed that you told your mom, and this I'm assuming this is your girlfriend. I went along with it. He goes, I noticed that 
you let me have my time with my family and I appreciated that a lot and I was like I knew you were with your family and you're human too you have to see your family appropriate time to see you and there's not an appropriate time to come over to see you and he was like I appreciate that dude he hung out with us for like five minutes I want to say there was a camp above us because it was the weekend and I guess they were maybe on a field trip or something like that they were yelling Mookie come sign blah 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 he wasn't giving them anything whatsoever he hung out with us for like a good five minutes and headed back to the tunnel and that was my best interaction I've ever had with Mookie Betts. And ever since then, he's been one of my favorite players for the Red Sox of all time. To the point where I wanted a signed bat for my birthday. And my parents gave me this one birthday. It is a signed, game-used Mookie Betts bat from the 2017 season. Now what's special about this bat here is that this bat was used the day that I graduated from high school. No joke, I was at this game too. It was the day that I graduated from high school and this bat's in my hand. You see the authentication right here for saying that it was game used. And another thing that's cool about this bat here, look at the knob guys, is that backwards? Yeah, that's backwards. Look at the knob here guys. It's got state of Tennessee right there. And then it's got the city of Nashville up here. Look how cool that is, guys. This is one of my best... Actually, I shouldn't say that. This is the best memorabilia that I have at this moment. So yeah, a little bit of a flex for you guys here. This bat right here, I've seen intact bats go for well over $10,000. People have asked me, why haven't I sold this thing? This could literally be the price of a car. And I've said, well, the reason why I'm never going to sell this thing is because, one, he is one of my favorite players of all time. I've had many good interactions with him, including that one time that I just told you guys about. Two, he is going to be a Hall of Famer one of these days. He is going to be a Hall of Famer. Three, this bat was used when I graduated high school, the day I graduated high school. So this bat means more to me than the value of it. So that's why I'll never sell this thing. But I know if I was to sell it, this would go for well over $5,000 because this is probably one of the last and few Red Sox bats from him that is out there. I just kind of wanted to share this with you guys. And this thing's pretty cool. This thing is very cool. This will always be in my collection and Mookie Betts will always be one of my most favorite Red Sox players of all time because of the interactions that I've had with him when he was on the Red Sox for current my current favorite Sox players at that time he was number two it went Bogarts then it went Mookie Betts he was number two fa favorite current players of that time and yeah, that's what I kind of wanted to share that with you. That was a little bit of a story time there too. So let's hop straight into the video. Oh yeah, that bat was not signed when I first got it, by the way. That bat was not signed when I first got it. So, one of the videos we will react to will be Mookie Betts signing that thing. Fun fact, I have that. I have that X gonna give it to you because they did a hashtag with that for a long time the uh, Red Sox social media I have that on my wall here he played a full season yeah that's right that's right now I remember that was his first full season Noony! Noon time! Oh, 
at this time here, he was a good outfielder. Because outfielders, right, they should be able to hit. Like, center fielders should be able to hit. He was good at this time. I get chills every time I get angles like that. Is that Poppy? Yes, it is. David Ortiz. Big Poppy in the house. Story time again. Story time again. Now you guys know I said I had a story time originally involving Maddie. Well, here's the story time there. So I met Maddie when she was dating Mike, actually. Yeah, weird enough, she was dating Mike. In March, she texted me saying, What's up? And I said, what's up? Well, this wasn't the first time we talked or whatever, obviously, but she texted me out. Of, she texted me one day and she was like, are you still going to opening day? And I said to her, I said to her, of course I go to, I'm going to opening day. I go to opening day every single year. And she goes, well, Mike's not going anymore. I go, what do you mean Mike's not going? He, she goes, yeah, I guess he can't go or whatever. So I can't go. I was wondering if, I could tag along with you guys and I was like would Mike be cool with that but I knew he'd be cool with that because like he knows I wouldn't be that dog to try to do something behind his back or whatever blah 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 and I knew it wouldn't be a big deal like if she tagged along with us or whatever and I just I wanted him to at least know that 
she was gonna tag along so I was like yeah it's fine with me if you tag along but I really think you should tell Mike that you're gonna tag along with us again it wasn't my place to say anything because she was gonna pay her way so on and so forth blah 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 she was just gonna come in for the ride and to just hang out with us and that was it so it wasn't my job to go reach out and say hey she's gonna come with us she did not want to tell him because she figured that he would tell her no you can't go and more of the story is this she didn't say anything and we had to pick her up at her school because I was graduated at the time I was in Bridgewater this dummy was trying to hide it behind his back but in the meantime she's in the back seat taking snapchat pictures sending them to Mike and Mike obviously has been in the car so many times where he knows the interior of the car and he gets this picture saying where are you right now she said to him that she was going to tour Suffolk University <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, this dude knows that I'm heading to the game and she is in our car. She could have really said that I picked her up to bring her to Suffolk. She could have said that, but she didn't say that. She said she was taking the train or whatever. I don't know what she said. I would say throughout the whole entire game, he's t she's texting him, he's texting her, getting suspicious, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm sitting here like, oh my god, just freaking tell him you're at the game. He's not going to be mad or whatever. Just tell, be honest with him and tell him the truth. Nope, still couldn't do that. Still had to try to hide it, hide it from him, beat the bush down or whatever. Like, Maddie, I love you, but you really should have told him at this time. Mike was like, oh, you should go to Mike's Pastries for dessert or whatever and bring it home and bring me home something. She goes, oh, Mike's Pastries is closed. By the way, if you live in Boston, Mike's Pastries is like one of the biggest dessert stores in the city of Boston. So like, there's no way in hell it would close. And Mike was like, really? So he went, decided to call them up and say, are you guys open? They go, yeah, business has never been better, honestly. He goes, really? <laughs> after the game, after the game, we go out to Wahlburgers, and that's when she was like, all right, I'm going to tell him that I'm with you. I go, Maddie, you're a little late. It's after the game. She goes, oh, I know how to play this off. She goes, oh, I decided to go to Wahlburgers for l l dinner or whatever, and guess who I ran into? And Mike was like, you idiot. I'm not dumb. You were with them the whole time. You went to the game, didn't you? The next day I had to deal with him. Mike, I'm sorry, obviously. I wanted to tell you. I wanted Maddie to tell you, but it wasn't my place to tell you. It was her responsibility, really, because we weren't treating her or whatever, and she was just tagging along with us. So it wasn't really my place to say anything. It was more so her place. But you definitely should have known. That's kind of the story of why she was there. And we, we all joke about it now. Me and Mike joke about it. Like, every time we go to Boston, he goes, Hey, Jess, you want to go to Mike's Pastries? That's closed for good. Like, him and I joke about it now. That we can both laugh on it now. And I said to Mike, too, Mike, I knew at least it wasn't going to be a big deal. That's why I was telling her to tell you. I know you would have been okay with it. That I told her the whole time to just tell you. He goes, I would have been totally okay with it. That's the story behind Maddie being there. We can all laugh on it now. Every time, every time I went to a game with Maddie after that, like after they broke up or whatever, I was still close friends with her. Obviously, I'm still close friends with her. And every time her and I would go into the city, like to go to a game or whatever, her and I would always joke, hey, let's take a quick trip to Suffolk University while we're here, just to joke around about it, so that's a little bit of a funny story for you guys there, and uh, let's finish this video up, because we got a long ways to go still. And one thing Mike said, too, was, I know her scream, like, I know her uh, voice. Because he saw my Snapchat stories or whatever, and he heard her screaming or whatever. Yeah, 
What? What? Why did he do that? I'll have to do some research why he did that. Oh, that was that that was Whitney saying that was Whitney. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> what I say, Kyrie Irving? Kyrie Irving was done for the year at that point. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Oh my God. Then, meanwhile, the Celtics go to the Eastern Conference Finals. But we'll skip past this. We'll skip past this little Kyrie Irving thing. Um, because Kyrie deserves no love in this video here. He deserves zero love. Let's go here. Perfect. As he entered the top of seven, it's still nothing, nothing. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a low score game. I kind of sped things up a little bit in this video. Who's on Tampa Bay this time? Was... No, Longoria was not on this team at this time, I don't think. I actually have to go to the bathroom, but I know if I go near the bathroom right this second, we'll be standing at that. Oh, I miss when they used to throw the peanuts after the seventh inning stretch. Wally has an arm. He should have probably pitched for the Sox this year. I didn't record much game here. I learned after this. Because originally it was going to be a short, short video. I can't believe I didn't get copyrighted for Sweet Caroline either. Oh, this is the end of it. Maybe that's why I didn't. I didn't do um, the whole entire thing. Bum bum bum. Here we go. Nobody out. Red Sox are down two. Families are going and run. Daddy's going nuts. That's a run. I wasn't going too crazy because there was only one run. There was only one run. Up the middle. Double play. Double play. <laughs> Double play. <laughs> Oh, next one's Bogart! One, two, count! Oh, yeah, I see it right here. Two, one, raise. Count is one ball, two strikes, two outs for Bogart. Clutch! I think I went nuts. Let's see. Yep. Yep. He didn't take the L! <laughs> That's great! And you, all, and you all are telling me he's not top three short shots in the game! Are you out of your mind? Who? Who? I, I gotta go back and see the shortstops. 
I got to see. Let's go. Okay. Oh, all right. Base is loaded. Wow. Why am I so close to my face? Even though he didn't get him out. JBJ. I think I just saw a uh, thing. I think they showed a um wait wait wait. Okay, okay. Last time I paused this, I promise. Well, how old was I here? Nineteen? Yeah, I got snuck a beer that day. <laughs> I think I got snuck a beer that day. I'm slow motion in it. Yep. You see. It's gonna be it's gonna be Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I know, I know. I, I'm sorry for pausing it so many times in this video. Right there. But, it, it, but I, I hate this rule, though. I learned after that that the ball doesn't even have to be in the pocket in order to, for him to be out. It just has to be inside the glove. He doesn't have to have possession of it. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Because he should be safe, right? He should be safe. But because the ball's inside the glove, he doesn't have it yet, really. But because it's inside the glove, he's out. I still think this was a bad call. I still think he's safe. See, I even, see, I even say he doesn't have possession of it yet. Then he should be safe. Threw her hat. Look at it. Wait a minute, though. She threw her hat, but like th that guy's laughing at her for throwing her hat. But like that guy's giving them the bird. I still think he's worse in that situation. I mean, throwing a hat down on the ground compared to throwing the bird. I mean, hold on. We gotta see this. Let's see. He's safe. I still think he's safe. Even reacting to this, he, I still say he's safe. I'm saying wow because I knew they blew a call. I knew they blew a call. That's why I was saying wow. Alright, so right now... Just a fun day at the ballpark. I think they were dancing, that's why. But I'm just gonna skip that, whatever. I, sh I should have edited this a little bit better. That's alright, buddy. Good rip. Take it off. Good hit. That was so just a nice play. Just let off the bottom of the 12th of the double. 12th inning? Jesus. No Winning run on second. Still tied up at two. Yeah, yes. Vasquez? Yes. Yep. Good job. Good job. Good job. So, guy on third, one man out. Nice. So now, winning run is 90 feet away. With bats up, and then Ben Intendi to ball. Looking good for the Red Sox in this inning. I'm definitely not leaving now. Obviously, you guys know I've learned from my videos how to edit, so...
Again, I was experimenting here. What even happens here? Are they walking him? Oh, they're walking him. But you know what you do? Did, did, you have him seal second. Yeah. Alright, so Yeah, he did seal second. second. Third. So what, what are they I'm assuming they walked Still Benny too. Right to get a double play, I'm assuming they walked them. So basically a walk will bring up Hanley. Duh, no kidding, really. Really. Great camera work, Jesse. I thought it was a home run, I think. I think I thought it was a home run. It just hit the it just hit the warning track and went over. I think it was a ground hole double. That was a comeback. They were down 2 nothing in the ninth inning. That's a comeback. Bryce pitched good. Bets. What did Bets do? Hey! I didn't know I put this in there. Hey! Hey, that's gonna do it for the video, man. That's gonna do it for the video. That's gonna do it for the video, man. Leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoy. Subscribe now if you guys are new. You guys know what to do. Go check out my website. Links in the description down below. If you guys want to help donate to go to games, my Venmo account's in the description. Anything else? Appreciate all the love and support. And yeah, that was my opening day experience from 2018. We got more of these videos coming to you guys. Next one is we going back to back. Red Sox versus Rays again. That's the next video. Either that or should I just skip it to like this one or something like that. Let me know. Let me know which game you guys want to see next. It's been Jesse. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later guys.